In late February of 1975, a Puerto Rican newspaper reported strange animal deaths in the small town of Mocha, Puerto Rico. According to quote-unquote reports, 15 cows, 3 goats, 2 geese, and a pig were found with puncture wounds on their bodies, and they were supposedly drained of their blood. Soon after, the legend of El Vampiro de Mocha, or Mocha Vampire, was born. The term chupacabra, which in Spanish means ghost sucker, wouldn't come into play until 20 years later when a similar phenomenon would occur again. In March of 1995, in the town of Casanovas, Puerto Rico, eight sheep were found dead, each with puncture wounds in the chest area that had supposedly drained the animal's blood. The next month, in the nearby town of Guanabo, a farmer found his goats dead in the same manner. Soon after, reports of chupacabra sightings began pouring in from all over the island, and the quote-unquote legend quickly gained traction. People reported seeing a strange, dog-like creature with spikes or quills on its back, glowing red eyes and sharp fangs. Cryptozoologists and skeptics offered various explanations for this phenomenon. Some believed that the chupacabra was a new species of animal that had yet to be discovered. Others suggested that it was an escaped exotic pet or genetic experiment gone wrong. Still others argued that the chupacabra was a purely mythological creature invented by locals to explain the mysterious deaths of their livestock. So what is the truth concerning the chupacabra? Was it a myth or was it a reality? Well, according to a 2011 book, Tracking the Chupacabra, Benjamin Radford argues that it was more myth than reality. In the book, which was based on a five-year investigation, Radford concluded that the description given by the original Chupacabra eyewitness in Puerto Rico, Madeline Tolentino, was based on the creature sill in the 1995 science fiction horror film, Species. Tolentino had actually seen this movie prior to her testimony. The creature still from Species and the description of the Chupacabra are almost identical, with spines on its back and all. This fact seriously undermines the credibility of the original eyewitness account and of the Chupacabra being a real animal. You can also couple this with the fact that a Puerto Rican veterinarian with the Department of Agriculture Dr. David Morales analyzed 300 reported victims of the chupacabra and found that they had not been bled dry. So what is the most likely explanation? Well, according to experts, it seems more likely that dogs or some kind of canines were responsible for the attacks due to the holes in the bodies of the prey. These canines or dogs were either sick or injured, which caused them to behave and attack in such a way. However, despite evidence to the contrary and the logical conclusions, the legend of the Chupacabra had spread to Latin America, United States, and even as far as Ukraine. Wherever slain animals were discovered, the legend of Chupacabra seemed to be the preferred explanation among the people. In Puerto Rico, where it originated, it continues to capture the imagination of the locals. The chupacabra has become part of Puerto Rican folklore, inspiring everything from t-shirts to movies to Halloween costumes. Let us know what you think in the comment section below. Help us to spread this video by sharing. Don't forget to subscribe and turn on the notification bell for more videos.